Hi, my good friend. How are you? Uh, welcome back to Subtech Online, our YouTube channel, where we keep learning. So today we are going to learn how to create a, uh, a dashboard using Excel. So uh, basically, we are going to use pivot tables. There is no VBA coding. So let's start. So what you see now, this is a already done dashboard. Uh, we have included slices. Those are pivot slices. We shall show you how I will show you how we do them. Uh, we have the gauge graphs. We have scoreboards. We have a pie chart. We have a line graph, and many more as I'm going to see. But the first thing is uh, the first thing is looking at our raw data. Uh, we have to make sure that we first make sure that all the data we are having, all the columns and rows, are uh, put in the right format. Now, the right format, what do I mean? Uh, you must make sure that you don't have blank rows, you don't have blank columns uh, for your data to be analyzed in the way you need it. So, what do we do? Always, I, I, I recommend you to always put your data into tables. Create a table. Uh, a table is like a container. It brings together the data. And it is easy to update. When you're adding more data at the bottom of the table, it just updates automatically with all the graphs which are created. So let's go ahead. Now, looking previously uh, on this dashboard, looking at the data. So you see that my data is already in tables. So we are going to add more columns. Those are the net sales, the gross margin. Uh, we shall add the, the month. We shall add the year. I will show you how you create the month and the year from the date. So that is it. So we are creating a table first. That is first thing. So creating a table, you come here on insert. Then you create a table. So it has already detected the range our table is covering. So my table has headers. Yeah, true, it has headers. So I'll say OK. So this is the default format of tables in Excel. So uh, I'm going to change this format. I'm changing the, the table style. I normally like this one. Now, after putting our data into creating a table, so we are going to add the, the columns we need. We are adding the net cells. So the moment you add uh, a column, it automatically adds it, uh, itself onto the table. Then we shall have the gross margin. Then we shall have the month. Then we shall have the year. So, how getting the, the net sales? So, checking into uh, checking our data, we have the date, the region, the rip, the items. So, uh, net sales it is uh, uh, gross sales minus uh, cost. We also know that we all know that. So, getting the net sales, we shall get the gross sales minus the cost. So. The good thing with tables, uh, maybe we shall have another videos about tables. Uh, the moment you put a formula, it covers the whole table. Even if you have one million rows down, it covers everything. So let's try one. So you're going to get uh, the gross sales minus the cost. So you see that I've used, I've put the formula in one cell, but it has outfired all the data in the table. Even if I had one million rows, they're going to be all. Okay, we are getting the net sales. The net sales, uh, that is uh, uh, gross sales minus discounts. So automatically when you insert the formula in one of the cell, even if it is in the middle or the start or the end, so long as your data is in the table, it automatically picks the whole of that column. So that is the good thing with uh, with uh, using data, analyzing data which is already created in tables. 
it isn't a lot. There is no auto filling, pulling down, auto filling the formulas. Uh, so going forward, uh, we are getting the gross margin. Uh, gross margin is uh, uh, is uh, net sales minus cost. So it automatically also picks because it is already in tables. Then how do we get a month? How do you get a month if you are given a date? But remember that your date has to be in the right format, of which I've already checked it is in the right format. Uh, so getting the month, so this is the formula, equals text. Uh, then you pick the value where the date is. So that is my date, uh, comma. Now I put the format I need my month to be uh, displayed in. There is displaying January as Jan. There is displaying January as January the whole word. There is displaying January as just zero one with hyphens. So I want January, my month to be in uh, 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 full wordings. So if it is January, then it is Jan, March, April, moving forward. So what do we do if you want the full name? You put quotes with quadra M's. close the quotes and you enter so uh, the moment I enter it just covers the whole thing I've already told you for tables so that's how you get a month from a date given so I'm getting here this is equal to uh, yeah still you pick the date so that is so uh, this is the, our data we are going to use now the next step is we are going to create pivot tables now i'm requesting you always to make sure that you arrange your work you arrange your tabs your sheets so i'm going to name this sheet as raw data then i'm creating another sheet which i'm going to call you can call it support you can call it calculations i always call it calculations so i do my calculations in one sheet then I shift all the visualized graphs and tables and everything score codes onto another sheet which we are going to create as a dashboard so after creating those sheets uh, sorry this has to be capital key okay. uh, creating a pivot table uh, click anywhere in your data, go to insert, uh, create a pivot table. This time I'm going to create a pivot table, not recommended tables. So uh, we, uh, there is a video on our channel about pivot tables. Please go there if this is your first time to, to deal with pivot tables. It is such an interesting feature in Excel. So uh, pivot tables, um, it has already selected the table which is that then uh, I'm not putting it on a new worksheet I already have the sheet where I'm going to put my pivot table that is calculations uh, I want my pivot table here then I say okay so this is it so remember uh, what we are looking at is uh, we need to we need the first table which is going to create our score cards so uh, we start with uh, this is gross sales we shall need gross sales that is we shall need discounts we shall need costs we shall need sales we shall need uh, gross margin i think that is it yeah that is it uh then uh, on addition, we are adding there the discounting percentage. Okay, now the discounting percentage uh, for pivot tables, you can always add calculated fields, which I'm going to do with you. So we, are, we need another field which is giving us the discount in percentage and another field which is going to give us the gross margin percentage. So what do you do? You go and analyze 
there is uh, this icon here, the fields and items and sets. So that's where we find the calculated field. So which calculated field do we need? The name. This is now the discount in percentage. And how do we get the discount in percentage? Okay, it is discount divided by gross sales. Net sales. Then another one, we shall need the gross margin. So we're adding another field that is uh, the gross margin. Still also in percentage of which it will be our gross margin field. You just double click, it loads divided by the net sales. You also double click to load. So we say add. Okay. So that field will be added. Now I'm, I'm supposed to change these into percentages, which is simple. Just come to home, change them into percentages. You can add one decimal. Uh, formatting these into center and uh, All these are the basics of Excel. Uh, then uh, uh, formatting them into by comma, uh, comma separating. Now, uh, we have already had our first table uh, with all the data we need for the scorecards. Now, uh, we are removing the word, you see sum of, sum of, because they are all summing. So I want us to remove the word sum of on all our uh, fields. So what I do, I just copy this, but remember to leave a space. So just copy some of, control find, then I replace with blank. Okay, that is it. Now we are moving to the sparkle line graphs or bug graphs. So uh, before we go to that, I'm going to copy this table. Remember, it is a pivot table. Uh, skip around three lines, yes, around there. Paste it. Uh, remember, we need another table which is having all the months. Uh, that is the table which is going to help us to have the sparkle graphs. So that means that I'm adding the field for month. So the moment I click on the field for month, it will just add as a column. But I need my data to be in the same, uh, same columns. So I'm shifting this there, such that I have my data. If it is discount, they have to be in the same, same column. So I don't need the, the totals. So what do you do? You right click. Pivot table options. You come and uh, on data. First of all, I will not also need the auto fill, the auto fit column we did on update and reserve. Uh, we shall, I will explain that uh, in uh, our greater video about pivot tables. You can check more of the videos we have on our channel uh, about pivot tables. All that will be. Uh, discussed about. So we are removing the auto field, then we go to data, sorry, sorry, uh, display, left. okay, totals and filters, we are removing the, 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 the grand totals and the subtotals, okay, so I've removed those, so uh, even this one, I'm formatting even this pivot table, doing the same thing. Why do we do the auto, remove the auto fit column? You remember when, when you, every time you refresh a, a pivot table, it goes back to its default. So to make sure that you retain your formatting, always please come and remove these sticks. You also remove this. Okay. Now I can expand these columns such that I have a clear visibility. Now, 
that part is done. This is done. Now we can have our sparkle graphs. So just come here, insert, come on sparkle columns. So it will ask for me that it will ask for the data range, and this is the data range. That's why I needed it to be in the same column. So that is it. I'm locking it. So after getting this, uh, we can highlight the high points and the lower points. You can also come here and give the high points, let's say, green color. You give the lower point maybe a red color. Then after doing that, it is just a matter of pulling auto filling with all the others. So that is, guys. Uh, we already have our pivot table, which is going to give us the score. Uh, the score. Looking at this, which is going to give us the score cards. Then the other second table will help us to give us the other details. Now. Uh, what do we do? We go to the dashboard now. Uh, the first thing you will always have to do, uh, you can always work on a fresh sheet, a sheet without grid lines. So I'm removing the grid lines by clicking on uh, uh, View. You tick off the grid lines. I can do the same on this, tick off the grid lines. Uh, it is better to work on a plain sheet without distractions. Now, uh, remember, we need we need this heading the way it is. Uh, what do I do? I create. I'm inserting a shape. Let's take this one, round it. Okay, like this. Then after that, I don't want the borders, so I'll share. Shape outline should be now. Can choose the color. Sorry, format. You come on fill. The color we can give it green. Then after that, you go still on insert. We are inserting a text. You come here on word add. Uh, it is always good to use word art because it comes with its formatting than picking a text box where you will need to format bold, all that stuff. So uh, I'm picking this first one. Uh, this time you can call it Excel dashboard. So that is it. So I can have it so minimized. Carry it, put it there. Change its color. White is better, visible with my dark green in the background. So that part is done. We are moving to the score cards. So Score cards, uh, we are inserting still. Mm. We are inserting a shape that is rectangular. I will insert the same shape. Uh, this. Now, uh, shape effects on presets. Choose preset 8. That is key. Now, before we go further, let's uh, create slicers. So, for those who are new on to pivot tables, slicers are like uh, they are like handlers for filters. They are used for like filtering the pivot tables. Like how you see filters in your tables, this. So, in pivot tables, we call them slicers. So, click anywhere in my pivot table. You say insert or just come on analyze, then the insert slicer is here. We also have insert timeline, but that one will be another time. So insert a slicer. What do we need in the slicer? Uh, we need the year, we need the month, we need the sales rep, we need 
the regions. Actually, that is it. We may also need the items. So, say OK. So, these are the slices. Select all of them. Cut. Uh, we take them to our dashboard. So, beginning with, I'll be somehow quick. Uh, uh, this is for month. Month, I'm making two columns. I'm making two columns. So, when you click on it, come on options, increase the col columns here. Okay. Uh, then we have uh, region. That is. Then I can put the sales rep this side and items. I can make sales rep also two columns, just to make it shorter. Uh, also this one you can make two columns, make them shorter. So that is it, guys. These are my slicers. They are going to act as filters. So uh, the other details we can look uh, on the slicers that one will come ahead. Now let's move back to our score scoreboard. Now we need uh, we need the the value. We need the sparkle sparkle line. Uh, sorry, the sparkle columns. And uh, we need the, the name of the scorecard. So those are the three items I need to insert. First, I begin with the click on text, insert a text somewhere. Uh, come on format, shape outline is the boundaries. I want to make none, such that we don't have the boundaries. Now, while uh, selecting the text box, click in the formula bar equals to. Now we are linking this from our our pivot. So that is it. Okay. After creating that text and linking it to to one of the of the cells from the pivot table. Now, we go ahead and format this, that is uh, uh, bolding, we increase, let's use 20, okay, uh, then uh, this is uh, the middle, that is, and you can do all what you need. So that is it for the starter. Now uh, we have to uh, remove shape fill, that is no, which means remove the background. I already removed the, the shape outline. Then you copy this theme, paste. Now this one is going to give us, sorry, sorry. Okay, you, you copy the same. Uh, we are changing now the B. Remember now this, the value is in B3, then the sparkle is in B4. So that is it. Now here it is a three. Uh, we can also increase this. Increase this to 20. It is okay, can reduce, yeah, that is fine. Uh, we bold, just give it a color blue. Now, I copy the same paste, this one. Now we link it to before. Then for the sparkle line, for the sparkle graph, it may not appear. This is the option we are going to do. So we shall copy shall copy the sparkle line. Uh, here you paste.
special, we are pasting a linked picture such that any update done, it is linked, it will be updating this side. So this is it. You can just enlarge it. Now you bring the gross cells. So we can have this one put. Okay, quickly you can do all those formattings. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to group them such that uh, when I copy and paste or I move, it moves as a whole. So you press a control and click on all the four. Uh, right click, group, then you group them. So it is one. So when I click there, copy and paste, I take the whole thing. So we are going to do this times five. Times five, yeah, yeah. Okay. Add the fifth. Okay. Now just this place a bit. Yeah, that's fine now. Now, uh, the task we have is to link all these to the different quantities we need from this side. So we are going to link to discount to costs. Uh, I can center this. Yep. Uh, to discount cost, net sales, and margin. Okay. Sorry. Now the next is uh, column C, which means. Clicking on this, I'll link this to C. Now I'll do this one quickly. To appear. Okay. Now that is it. So just doing a testing, if we click on 2019, you see that this the sparkle line is down changing only, which means there is something we need to do. Now, what do we do? We have to check the connections of all these uh, slicers. So how do we check the connections? Uh, right click. Uh, report connections, make sure that all the slicers are connected to all the pivot tables. Uh, so that is it. So, uh, so let's first put all the graphs, then we shall connect all the tables at once. Now, what next do we need? So we need the gauge, the gauge graphs. So the gauge graphs, this is how we do them. So, so the gauge graphs, they are looking at the discount percentage and the, and the gross margin percentage. So I'll copy this, just copying that too. Then link this one to discount percentage. And I also link this to that. Uh, don't copy the, 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 the values, just link them such that they auto update. Uh, so changing this to percentages still, as we did before, give them one decimal place. Now I will have the, the free space for that graph, which is that it is the balance from the 100%, which means that one is the, it is equals to one. Remember, a one means 100% minus this one. So we get 98 equals to one minus the gross margin. 
it gives us 25.4%. Now, what is the total? That is 100%. We copy the same here. Now, what do we do? I just have it formatted, center, center. So we begin with a discount. Select the discount column, all the figures, the percentage, this free space, and the full. You come on insert, insert it, you insert a donut chart. So this is what we are going to deal with. Uh, remove, uh, let's remove the labels and the legend. And the heading, then right click on the graph format chart area. Now, here we come on the fill, no fill, just need it colorless. Uh, click on the chart, click on the chart, right click, format data series. Uh, we are going to rotate this on 250 because uh, we need the the one you see on the right is the one we need on top. So I'm going to rotate this by 270. So that is the rotation. So what do I need? I don't need the lower part. What do I do? Click on the lower part. Come on the fill, we give it a no fill. Uh, then the one with our value, it is a blue. Then we can also make this one a blue, or we can go with the other colors. That is, we can go with the red. Change this one also to red. Okay, I'll use this red. Also, here yeah, confirm that that is the red. Then now, clicking on the free space, which is meant to be the free space. This one, I'm going to uh, format data series. So I'm going to uh, reduce on the exposure. So so the border no line. You can do it that way, or you can just increase on the transparency, or you can still use the other color, but you increase on the transparency. Still, it can work, both can work. Then we can also increase on the size of the donut. That is, that can work for us. I think now we can go with this. Uh, then, We copy the same, copying this and pasting, copy this, paste. So, Copy, paste, and then copy, move it here, here, we paste another one. Now, for this case, uh, just click on the graph, shift this one to this, shift to that. To that it will change it will change automatically just change the ranges from the discount to the margin so i can change this color this time we need we can use green so clicking on this format data point mm, fill change this to green even this one we change it to green 
but the transparency matters. You can increase the transparency up to that. So I think that is it, guys. You can increase also the donut. Now we are selecting that tool. You cut them, take them to our dashboard. Okay. This is it, guys. Now, I don't need those borders. Just select, come on format, shape outline, no shape. Shall the other board even this one do the same? Okay. Now, uh, now we are putting, we need the percentage and the naming of the graph. You can copy the same, this one, bring it here, paste. Remember this is uh, the discount, so select the same, select the text box equals to, we are linking this to this one, that is the discount. Uh, you can increase this to 20. So we first select it, increase it to 20. Uh, reduce that. A bold, make it that discount. Okay, that is okay. Copy this. Bring it here. Here we we'll have to delete this one. Here yeah, paste. So this one we are linking it to margin. Gross margin percentage. Increase that to 18 and uh, 18 font. And the bold can reduce a bit, just a limit. Okay. This is it. Now let's have the percentage. <coughs> you can copy the same. This time we link this one to, to this percentage. You can even use this or the other one since they are all linked together. Um, increase that to around 25 and bold 25. Then let's give it our color rate. Okay. <coughs> Copy the same, come and bring it here. Let's link this one to cross margin, which is that. Bold it for 25. This time we give this one green. Okay, guys. That is it. We do the same thing. We group these, right click, select all of them. Something is not right here. Okay, we shall group those later.
Okay. <clears throat> now we're going to the next, that is, uh, so you can move this up to here. Can move this up to there. Now let's have another graph. <coughs> the graph now we are going to create is the line graph. Then we shall have a bar chart. But this one will need us to uh, have another pivot table. So I'll copy the same pivot table. Test here. But this time we need only the margin column and percentage margin column. So I will deselect all the others. I remain with a percentage gross margin. But this is versus versus months. Okay, even the discount I don't need it. So select this. Come on insert. Insert a line graph. This time we're inserting a line graph, this one. So remove all the buttons. Just come here and fill the buttons. Hide all of them. Then you hide, we shall add grid lines. Uh, so we can even hide the minor ones. Okay. Then remove legends. Uh, access are okay, the chat is, so this is uh, the gross margin trend, monthly close margin trend, this is the monthly, so you can do all the formatting required up to, but until you get your test, then click on the line graph. Let's do some formatting on the line graph. Right click, format data settings. You can cancel this, I don't need it. Now, here. Now the color is blue, yes. You can increase the size, the width. Increase from there. Then we come on the marker. The other one has the length, then we have the marker. So we want the marker to have a solid uh, color of uh, we want white. Then we increase, no, 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 wait. Let's leave the transparency at zero. Then the color of the border, let's leave the color of the border as that. Then the width we can increase to that. Okay, so we can change. Okay, that is it. Now coming on the marker options, we'll let's select the ones which are built in. You can select the type here, but even you can select the picture as the marker. So I will take this one. Uh, increase the size, that is. Okay, you can do the other formatting, but that is it. Let's go with this one. Cut it, take it to our dashboard. This is it. Now, lastly, let's have uh, the pie chart, which is going to look at the regions, like Eastern, Central, West. So the same thing, you can copy the same pivot table, since it is already having all the formats we have done. Uh, this time, okay, come and analyze, add the field list, such that we can look at this, we had cancelled it. Uh, then, this time I need the regions. Okay, the regions. Uh, don't need the months. Then I need the gross margin. Let's solve, let's solve, let's solve. Key, that is it. Yo. Now select this. 
insert pie chart. We're inserting this pie chart. Still, we do the same. Remove all the buttons, hide them. Remove the legend. <coughs> uh, can change this. These are net sales per region. Okay, so here you can insert the data labels. Clicking uh, on this, right click format data cells. So inserting the data labels, you can also insert the names. Then you can make this one key here. You can do other formattings required, but for now, I think let's go with this. You can put them inside, you can put them outside, all that. Key, 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 that is it. Okay, so uh, format this by shape outline, no outline, we don't need, we don't need. Uh, we don't need also the background. So copy the all of this, cut it, take it to the dashboard. Don't need this. Paste to the dashboard here. Sorry. Paste here. So this is So this is it. You can go ahead and do all the other formattings, but at the moment we have now our dashboard. <coughs> okay, let's do the simple formattings. Now, uh, there is another option if you are to send this one to another group where you don't want them to look at the calculations and the raw data, you can always go to File Options, Advanced then you hide you hide the tabs whereas hide tabs hide tabs so sh show uh, sheet tabs you deselect that one so it will always hide the other uh, sheets so you find that it is just plain like this, making this one neat. And select all these columns and hide them. Just trying to make our work neater. Or you can even select these ones up to the last row. You hide them. Okay. Now if I minimize a bit. So looking at our dashboard so this is it now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to connect all the slicers to to these graphs the scorecards the gauge graphs the line graph the pie chart so what do you do right click on all the slicers on the report connections, make sure that all this is ticked. You do the same, make sure that all is ticked, do the same, do the same for all. Okay. All report connections, tick, report connections, tick. Now, uh, 
if you now at the point of presenting the, your report, you don't need to do calculations as you're presenting, and you don't need many slides in your presentation. This can only be enough. So we're going to click on 2019. All data will change for 2019, 2020. All data will change for 2020. And if you click January, data will change to only January for 2020. So canceling the filters, just cancel from here. If you want to look at one region, just click the region to give you all the data for that region. So guys, this is it. Please consider subscribing on our channel. Click that bell such that you can always have alerts when we upload any video. Thank you. Goodbye.